Welcome to CMU News. I'm Ling Bo Yi, your interviewer today. As we know, neuroscience is often seen as a difficult subject to get into it. But what if we learn it from an exciting English movie? Will that make neuroscience easier and more engaging? So today, we are interviewing an overseas student who took the MI course Learn Neuroscience from Movies. Let's hear his experience. Let's go. Hello, please start by briefly introducing yourself. And tell us, why do you choose the EMI courses? And since the course combines film and neuroscience, what do you think makes it special compared to traditional lecture-based learning? Okay, so, hi, uh, my name is Fang Yike, and I'm, I'm an overseas student from Malaysia, and I chose the EMI course Learn Neuroscience from Movies is because uh, I think this is a very unique way to learn about neuroscience. Uh, instead of just listening to the lectures like the old traditional ways, this course actually used this film to explain some of the basic neuroscience uh, concepts, making students feel more um, interested. Yeah. Given your educational background, what differences do you notice between taking an EMI course in Taiwan and the way you used to learn in your home country? Uh, since I grew up in Malaysia, my previous education was actually taught in English, mostly. And when I first came to Taiwan to, uh, to study, and I felt a little bit nervous and uncomfy with the new environment. And until I realized that there's EMI course in this school, which made me feel more similar to how I used to learn in, back in Malaysia. And because back in Malaysia, we, we don't actually get encouraged to learn English because most of us learn from the environment. And for those who are weak in language learning like me, it's a little bit struggling to learn. Uh, things are different at Taiwan. And I think this system for learning English is more suitable for certain people with weak language learning ability. So, what have you learned from this course? And do you have any memorable content or improvement? Uh, from this course, I learned not only some basic neuroscience knowledge, but also how to think critically and make connections between theory and real life examples. Because the movies that were shown in the class are actually mostly based on true stories. And also, after staying in an environment that barely touches English, my ability to communicate with English is getting kind of rusty. So, thanks to this course, I actually get this chance to improve my English communication skill when speaking in class. And one of the most memorable movie I had in this class is called The Beautiful Mind. It's about a man who has been suffering from schizophrenia. And, but, uh, and, but although he's, he has this disease, he ended up getting the Nobel Prize by his admirable ma mathematical problem, solving equation type of, type of things. Uh, most of the people actually has a bias towards the patients with, the with this disease. But thinking they are highly dangerous people or murderers. But after this course, it made me rethink about this. I realized that most of the patients are actually asymptomatic and non-danger towards the society. And that's all for our interviewing. And thank you for your sharing. I'm Ding Po Yi from CMU hey News. Hey guys. I'm the producer from CMU News. See, See you, you next time. time.